How's it going everyone, Luke here. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to OMSI 2 for an updated beta of Arcala. This is Stockton Row, which is the main city terminus for the two main routes, 63 and 64. Uh, possibly also for the X2, I'm just realizing. Looks like that might terminate here as well. That will be another drivable route, I believe, alongside the 6 and the 99, maybe. I might be wrong. But anyway, I have got my street light ready, so let's get driving. I am doing full commentary. And before we begin, massive thanks as always to Charlie. No, I'm just kidding. I know now that his name is not Charlie. You will know him as Philly Love. So yeah, thanks again to Philly for continuing to provide me with access to this beta. He's gonna be fed up of my Charlie jokes. If not already. <laughs> yes, right. I believe we are starting here. Give people a minute to walk up to us. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving this new city centre terminus. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here with this uh, the roof of this building. Some crazy graffiti there. All right, we have our first passenger. Do you have a voice? No, great, okay, I don't know what I've done. I got rid of my passenger voices for my last video. I tried to add them back, but I can't get them to work again, which is really annoying. So I think all my passengers will have no voice. But at least that means I can't complain about my driving. That was close. You know, this bus could have just moved forward slightly to make this a bit easier for me. All right, I think we are okay. I mean, I don't have collisions on anyway. I could have just driven straight for it, but it's nice to try. And get another look at the city center as we depart. I really like it. I don't know what it is, but Arcala just has such a premium feel. These faux shadows, definitely the best thing to happen to OMSI last year. I think that was the first time we saw them with West Country 3. It really adds so much depth to the map. It's like the main thing that OMSI itself is lacking is good shadowing. I think the only thing you get shadows from is on vehicles. So yeah, obviously those first shadows are added in manually, but definitely worth it. You don't want to get on your loss. You can stand in the freezing cold. I've set it to, I think, four degrees outside. Should probably check actually that my heating is on. Okay, it's still four degrees on the bus as well. So I guess that guy's not missing out on much. I am driving the street light today. Definitely my favorite single decker bus following the version 1.1 update a few months ago. Though having said that, that may change soon with the master bus or master switch studios um, Valium pack, which should be coming out soon. That does look very, very nice, especially the articulated bus. Really looking forward to that. I saw Eamons did a good video of that the other day. I only watched the start of it because I wanted to drive our car myself first without ruining anything. Uh, that is not our bus stop. Oh, in fact, I have not put route markers on. That would help a lot but it looks like no one wants to get on anyway. We are on time, and I believe my destination is set correctly. Yeah, we had a passenger at the first stop, so it must be. One, I promise to drive well if you get on my bus. Okay then, never mind. What bus is that? Oh right, that one's actually got 
<laughs> okay, it's got broken destination, so I can't actually see. I should remind you that, of course, this is still very much a beta. It's a work in progress. You're very likely to see bugs. Look, there's one there with that um, flickering texture. Police chase. Um, but yeah, still a beta, you will see bugs. Um, fully mentioned also performance issues. Apparently performance is not good in the city centre, but can't say that I've had any major problems so far actually. Though of course there is more scenery and other stuff to be added. You can see here for example, big gaps where buildings need to be placed. So I guess that's when optimization will then happen at the end. I suppose, but yeah, right now it's, it's actually all fine for me. Now hopefully some of these people are getting on my bus and not all oh, just getting on the fast bus. Oh great, no passengers left for me. Oh, here we go. We have some. They have no idea what they're getting themselves into. Okay, yeah, passengers have got no voices, very annoying. I mean, I turn them off because they're annoying when you just want to drive with no voiceover, but because I'm speaking, I thought it'd be good if they're speaking too. Right, 550, there you go. Nobody else? Cool. For anyone who actually ventures outside of London, unlike me, anyone recognise this area that's coming up? I actually had no idea it was based off somewhere in real life, so I thought Philly had just completely just fought up this fantastic looking shopping centre with underpass, and I thought, wow, this looks amazing. Turns out he just copied somewhere in real life. Um, not that that makes it any uh, any worse, it's still a very, very good recreation, and I still really like it. Fits the map very well. But yeah, I just I just had no idea it was based off somewhere. If you didn't get it, it's Birmingham, I think. Birmingham Boring, I think. I like that repaint on that bus. Oh, we're not turning here. I always forget that. Arcala Central. So, okay, I won't read out the URL. <laughs> Did not expect that. Uh, it reminds me that there are many, many, many Easter eggs in the map at the moment. Of course, that what I called the graffiti on the roof of that building at the start was one of them. I remember seeing that last time. But yeah, if you spot anything that you think is an easter egg, drop a comment below because I might have missed it. 50, there you go. Are we on time? I am not sure. So I, I think this is my first time driving the HEV hybrid version of this streetlight. The acceleration is very quick. Oh, someone walking through a wall there. Either that or the wall has got arms, which is just slightly strange. Oh, are we stopping in here? Am I turning in for no reason? Let's have a quick look. Oh, right, okay. That must just be a terminus for that route. Whoops. Passengers have no voice to complain anyway, so I am safe. Oh yes, of course, this is Michigan Station. Michigan, Michigan, Michigan. <laughs> um, 
had a look at this last time and it looked nice. It's obviously more complete now. Oh, that lag completely threw me off. Is no one actually getting on or off? She might be getting on. Is she getting on or am I waiting for nothing? Yay, she's getting on. We have a passenger. Uh, day rider, and you need one pound back. What? Oh, that is a two pound coin. Oh, she just took the two. Well, she just stole my two pound coin. I actually, I actually didn't know that happens. Like I've never left it that long to issue the correct change. I guess is this bad? Really not gonna let me go. Wow, did that car... well... Pretended to let me go, then crashed it straight into me. Probably now gonna complain to their insurance company that I hit their car. Yeah, look how built up the this area is. It all just looks so good. It just feels really nice to drive through. And yeah, as I said, performance actually feels perfectly fine, really for me, but I guess there's more scenery to be filled in. Which will make it a bit more demanding. Right, we're one minute late and I'm stopping at a stop where no one wants to get on or off. That's great. But yeah, this bus feels very rapid. No, don't go red, don't go red. Right, let's have a quick look around here. Actually, I think last time these lights were broken. I don't know if they work now. I was going to say what's that, but <laughs> I've, got, I've got no chance of reading what that says. Oh, there we go. It's the Princess Theatre. That's cool. Still love that repaint. I think that's for all the express routes, maybe. I mean, even these repaints are great as well. The repaint team have done a great job. More building work over here, I guess. What is this building? Oh wow, this building's quite tall. Very, very open, very open building. Right, surely we're green by now, no? Hopefully I've not missed it. Was one minute late now, probably five. Yeah, here we go. That little glass building looks cool. Right, so we are turning here. Yeah, these cars are going quite fast. Oh, that one's going over there. Oh, it's coming here. Oh, yes, I remember this from last time as well. Love this area too. Not sure if trams are being added as AI. That would be very nice. Oops. And you're getting one pound, not two pound. I didn't see if we were 
how late we were running. We are one minute late. Okay, that's not too bad. Yorkshire County's free, coming soon. I wonder when it will come out. Oh, okay. Is that because I'm indicating? Or... No, okay, they're still gonna force their way through. Quite rude. I see a train. Where is that? Thameslink train comes all the way from London to Arcala. I had no idea. Is that a state? Oh, I am swerving. Alright, let, let's focus on the driving. Livery Street. This is where this is where the repainters are based, actually. In case you didn't know. Uh, single 250. Is it really still that cold? Oh god it is, okay. Let's turn it up a bit. There we are. It's just as soon as you put it up slightly too high it will suddenly be 30 degrees in the bus. That's what I'm trying to avoid. that 63. I actually completely forgot to point out that it's the last time I did route 63. I did the full length of the route though I did it in two halves and this time round I'm doing the same thing but with route 64 and in the other direction. So route 63 and 64 are the two main routes. The 60s routes and they're about 80 to 90 percent complete as well. I think the night the 63 is more complete than the 64. But yeah, I did the 63 last time. This time it is the 64. So this drive right now, I'm heading to Oxenden, which is roughly the halfway point of the route. And then in the next video, I'll do Oxenden to Pendle Station which has actually had a major rebuild, so very much looking forward to that. Please wait for me. Yeah, you actually did. Well, wow. thanks. And yeah, so 63, 64, they're the two main routes, the 60s routes. They do share most of their route as well, I think, with just some slight deviations. But then yeah, some of the routing has actually changed slightly anyway. Like I said, Pendle Station has had a massive rebuild, so I'm really looking forward to doing that next video as soon as possible as well. And I'll do the next one in a different bus as well to change things up a bit. So if you have any requests, let me know. Oh no, right, this this road is so narrow. You could have waited. Okay, fair enough, he got through without crashing. I am, of course, driving with keyboard as always. We are three minutes late suddenly. I thought that said one minute not too long ago. Thank you so much for giving me the correct change. Right, let's try and speed up safely. Oh, we are approaching Queen Mary's Hospital. I quite like the hospital. It's quite well made. Looks very nice. Oh, 
a little bit too fast. Ooh, correct change again, thank you very much. Can't say the same about you, but there you go. This beta did actually come out last weekend, but sadly I didn't have a chance to record it last weekend. And then had a busy week at work. Also, some of you may remember that I had exams back in December. Got the results on Friday, pleased to say that I passed both of my exams, which I was very, very happy about. Oh, what have I done? Wait for me, or don't. Wow. Just wow. Is there an ambulance coming this way? I cannot see. Are right, you all turning? Oh, there is. My bad. I love that ambulance, created for Arcala by Sam Bob, I think. Someone getting off, yes. Almost missed you. Two minutes late. I've made back a minute, two to go. I'd love to see AI cyclists added, but I guess the problem is where would they go at that point? And where would they come from? Because the cycle lane ends. Oh, it's turning in. <laughs> I was about to say, wow, there's loads of ambulances, but I mean, we are outside a hospital, so what do you expect? I think we can go now. Still love that art piece there. So inspiring. Didn't really think about the tight turns when I chose an 11.5 meter bus, but I think it's working out. It's weird seeing pedestrians using zebra crossings again, because recently I've mostly driven London, where I don't think there are any zebra crossings that the pedestrians actually use, and West Country Free, I don't know if there are any either, or well, I think there are some that don't anyway. How are we doing? Still two minutes late, that's fine. I think here you probably get a bit of time to catch up. Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's go. I have a slight confession. I did start driving this route before and I accidentally continued straight here. And then about five stops later, decided to check because I realized all of the signs said 63. Then realised I'd taken a wrong turning, so we actually have to go back around here. At 10 miles per hour, I did not see that. Okay, I don't think I can drive that slow. It's 
So then we go back out here, and then we will be turning right. One thing I realised I forgot to do actually is change the AI list to use my usual one with the Teslas. Missing them slightly right now. I think they fit this map very nicely. Right, so, have I gone the right way? Yes, I have. Anyone getting on or? No. Nope. Yeah, so as I mentioned, Route 64 not as complete in terms of the scenery and so on. Why are you stopping? Okay. Like I said, there are bugs and yeah, 60, Route 64 is not as complete, so there are I guess we're slightly more likely to see bugs, um, missing scenery, with these kind of all the gaps around here. No road markings, unless that's just because the road is like that. I don't actually know. Oh, day rider. Do one pound. Return. Don't know why I zoomed out. Oh, no one else. Right, let's go. I wonder how many of these people buying return tickets regret it once they experience my driving for a few minutes. Lots of foreshadowing, love to see it. It really just it really does just add another level to the map. I was quite disappointed that Yorkshire Counties 3 doesn't have foreshadowing, but I guess development kind of started before it became a thing. Oh what is this? Is this Oh, that's cool. Okay, so if you're driving a tall vehicle which cannot fit, then you should go up there instead. We do fit very comfortably, so that worked out. I don't think anyone's getting off, actually. Nope. Oh, you are. Hurry up, then. Three minutes late. Not good. That coach is very shiny. Oh, almost missed the bus stop. Is this actually the university? Ah, it is. Okay. Did they just not get up? Oh, wow. Okay. They're pretending. That's nice. Um, but yes, this is the university actually. Let's have a quick look. In fact, is that the other side of... No, it's not okay. I was thinking of um, when we were at University Station earlier. But yes, this is the university. 
I heard that the 64 came here. 63 doesn't, so I haven't seen it. I've seen this area before. But it does look cool. And we are turning right. I love the contrast of this map as well, where we kind of we started in the city centre that felt very built up and just love driving through it, but then now we've got these sort of tighter roads. Of course getting even more different when you're driving towards Pendle Station which we'll see in the next video. Does that say zoo? Oh right, I thought they meant there was actually a zoo here, but I don't think there is. I wonder actually if we're getting close to Oxenden now. So again, you can see this area is sort of not entirely complete. I think Route 64, I've actually got it up in front of me, have a look. So Route 64 is about 85 to 95% complete. Is this car? I could probably turn out, but... Right, no one's actually getting off, okay. Okay, there's no road marker here. I haven't gone the wrong way again, have I? Let me just have a quick check. We came from here. Okay, yeah, that, that was right. And okay, so we come back round here, I think. No, actually, no, we go up here. It looks like, or no. Crap, okay, might actually be lost. Okay, let me try and find where we're going quickly. Right, are we heading to Broadgate Road? Where is my timetable? Where is my timetable? Broadgate Road, yes we are, right, so. In fact, do you know what, I think we are potentially meant to come here, but then go back round? No, that's stupid. Never mind. Right, we are going this way. Right, let's go. Apologies for the delay, everybody. Ah, they're all sitting very, very silently without their voices anyway. I mean, I guess straight on should have been obvious considering there was no marker saying to go elsewhere, but... Because the road here is quite incomplete, it didn't really look obvious that you meant to drive down here. But at least now we know. Right, let's go. I think all hope of making back the delay before the end of the drive has been lost, unfortunately. Those floating houses look very cool. So there are actually route announcements now, but I don't think they work with the Studio Polygon buses, or at least they're not working with the streetlight anyway. I thought I'd fix them, but apparently not. So maybe in the next video I'll, I'll drive a Master Switch bus and announcements should then be working, but I'll test them beforehand and make sure. I'll try to get passenger voices back as well if I'm doing full commentary again. I'm not sure yet whether I will or not. Let me know what you'd prefer, if, any, if, if anyone's even still here watching this by now. Would you prefer I do commentary again or would you prefer that I just shut up and you watch the drive? 
I won't take it personally. Right, he's going so slow. I'm oversteering almost. I should really try to drive with a steering wheel one day. But I love being able to use the mouse to just freely lick around. Don't know actually if it's annoying to watch me doing it. Which is why I try not to sort of move it too fast. Oh, that doesn't look good ahead. We might be stuck here. So once a day rider. Uh, you get a pound coin. I think I recognise where we are. Actually, I, I'm completely making that up. I don't know why I even said that. But I think we are getting close to Oxenden. Hopefully, these cars are about to clear themselves through. Let's see if that van moves. Okay, this is this is looking good. In fact, we're turning left, I can just turn. Unless that Ford Focus is coming this way. Nope. I don't think I can make it around this turning though. And there are bollards, so I can't even go up the curb, but I'm gonna have to fake it, I think. Right, nobody saw this. Yeah, that, that didn't happen. Oh wow, I just turned into the car, just to make it 10 times worse. Right, I do actually recognise this road. This is where the spawn point is for Oxenden, or used to be. And I drove from here, so I believe we are terminating here. Can't see what it says. Santigo Road. Right, if we are going to short journey, then we make a U-turn. Cool. Well, thought so. I knew he was indicating left, but he didn't look like he was going left. What are you doing? Oh, he's waiting. Very kind. So yes, we are indeed terminating here. I really enjoyed that drive. I just, like I said, I love Arcala. Definitely going to be in my top three UK maps alongside London and West Country for me. Interested actually to hear. Wait, are we not terminate? Maybe we're not terminating here. I think we're going one more stop potentially. I mean, this guy's buying a return ticket. Okay, I won't complain. There you go. I thought we were terminating here. Apparently, we're not. Oh, maybe, maybe I am supposed to terminate there. No, a timetable thing didn't pop up, so I'm guessing not. Duh. That was Santigo Road. Okay, we've got two more stops. Cool. Very sharp braking. Right now, I think we're terminating at the next stop. Is that van stuck? because he's actually ahead of the traffic lights. What's going on? Ah, okay, right. I don't know, but nobody's nobody's moving. They're all having a staring contest, so. Uh, so we are going here and terminating there. Cool, let's just pretend these cars aren't here for a second and get into our terminus.
Right, now we are terminating for real this time. I really enjoyed that drive. I now can't wait to drive the second half from here to Pendle Station. If you are still here, thank you very much for watching. If you drop Oxenden in the comments below, I will give you a thumbs up for sticking around till the end. Thanks again, and I hope to see you in my next video.